stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Chie, it's not too late to... I'm going! Fine, but don't push yourself, got it? from last time. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm thinking about stuff. I've been deliberating over it for a long time now. Hey, that wasn't a bad joke. <laughs> uh, so, did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull and it was empty. Rude. You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Wow, there's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? M miss Uh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? I don't know. I haven't looked. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yeah. You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. And I told you before, there's only me and shadows here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? I mean, Yukiko saying stuff like, score myself a hot stud. Oh, that's not like her at all. Score? Stud? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh. I wonder. Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story... I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it. Or something like that. So... Yukiko is producing that show herself? Oh, I don't get this at all! Hey, do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? 
Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead! Hey, wait! Don't go alone! Jeez, we better follow her. Chie, are you all right? Chie? She said that red looks good on me. Yukiko-san? I hated my name. Yukiko. Snow. Snow is cold and it melts quickly. It's transient. Worthless. But it's perfect for me. Apart from inheriting the inn, I'm worthless. Still, Chie told me that red looks good on me. Are these Yukiko-san's inner thoughts? I remember hearing Saki-senpai's too. Yeah, this castle is probably here because of this Yukiko person. Yukiko? Chie was the only one who gave my life meaning. She's bright and strong, and she can do anything. She has everything that I don't. Compared to Chie, I'm... I'm... Chie protects me. She looks after my worthless life. And I... I don't deserve any of it. Chie is so kind. Yukiko, I... She is so kind, huh? What a joke! What?! Oh man, is that...? It's just like Yosuke! She lost control over a suppressed self! Now it's a shadow! Are we talking about that, Yukiko? <laughs> she says I'm protecting her? She says she's worthless! <laughs> That's how it should be, right? What are you saying? Yukiko's so good-looking, so fair-skinned, so feminine. She's the one all the guys drool over. When Yukiko looked at me with such jealousy? Man, did I get a charge out of that. Yukiko knows the score. She can't do anything if I'm not around. I'm better than her. Much, much better. No! I've, I've never thought that! 
What are we gonna do? We need to protect Chie-chan right now. No! Don't come near me! Don't look at me! Chie, calm down! No! No! This isn't me! Wait, stupid! Don't say anything else like that! <laughs> That's, That's right. right. I'm the one who can't, can't do anything, anything alone. I can't win as a girl, let alone as a person. person. I'm pathetic. But, but Yukiko, Yukiko, she depends, she depends on me. me. <laughs> That's, That's why she's, she's my friend. friend. I'll, I'll never, never loosen my grip, grip on her. She's, she's too important, important to me. No! That's not how I think of her! <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're just, just going to turn, turn your back and deny, deny me again? again? But the things are different now. now. When, when the, the time, time comes, I'll, I'll be the one left standing. standing. You are right. I'm still you. Shut up! You're... Jin, no!
Chie, are you okay? What happened? What's the matter? Got nothing to say anymore? Stop it, Chie. It's all right. B but But I... He's right. I went through the same thing. So I can understand. I mean, everyone has a side like this. Yeah. Kinda get it now. You are me. A side of me I couldn't forgive. That I tried to ignore. But you still exist. You're a part of me. I... um... It's true that part of me feels that way. But I wasn't lying about being friends with Yukiko. Like we didn't know that already. Hey, Chie! I'm okay. Just a little tired. You don't look okay at all. And I bet you can use the same power we have now. Huh? Hey, what should we do? I agree. We need to let Chia rest. I never said I needed a break. I can still keep going. Don't overdo it. It's not that we don't think you can. It's just, we have to save Yukiko-san no matter what. Now that you have the power, you can fight with us. It'd be much better for us all if you had your strength back. That's why we're saying we should go back and regroup. But Yukiko's still in here, isn't she? Uh, I... Uh, if those were Yukiko's true feelings, then I have to tell her something. I'm not as strong as she thinks. It's because she was with me. Because we were always together, I was able to act that way. If we weren't, I'd... Well, you need to get your strength back. Then you can tell her. Yuki-chan's normal. The shadows don't attack normal people. They only attack when the fog lifts here. So Yukiko-san will be safe until then, right? I'm positive. Why? I don't get it. Teddy told us that the weather here is the opposite of our own world. When it fogs over in our world, that's the day it lifts here. And that's when the shadows attack their victim. So even if we leave for a while, Yukiko-san won't be in danger until the fog starts to cover Inaba. I'm sure of it. It was the same way for that announcer and senpai. Don't you remember how it was foggy in town on the days they died? You mean... they were killed by their other selves? The fog usually appears after it rains. But it's been sunny lately. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon. Don't worry so much. We'll check the weather forecast first thing when we get back. Yukiko's still here! She's all alone! She must be so scared! Then you tell me how much further we gotta go to reach Yukiko-san! Th that's You don't know what's up ahead! The enemies might be even stronger! If we push ourselves too hard and get wiped out, who will save Yukiko-san then? We can't fail, no matter what! Am I wrong? <sighs> all right. I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have rushed in like that by myself. No worries. We're definitely gonna save Yukiko-san. Right? <sighs> right. I, uh, 
I'm feeling even worse than the last time I came in here. My head feels like it's gonna split open. Are you guys okay? That's right, you're not wearing the glasses. Oh yeah, what's with those glasses? Did your eyesight go bad? Man, you didn't notice until now? How panicked were you? Tum ta dum I got a pair ready for Chie-chan, too. Here you go! Whoa! What the... This is awesome! It's like the fog doesn't exist! Why didn't you whip those out earlier if you had them? I made them right now! You didn't tell me she was coming! It was all so sad and... I mean, sudden. Huh. So that's the trick. I was wondering how you guys could see where you were going. Hey, is it alright if I keep these? So show! We'll have to stop here today. But I'll be back with these puppies. You guys better not come here without me, got it? Yeah, let's all promise each other. Nobody goes in alone. It's way too dangerous. If we don't work together, we won't be able to solve this case or save Yukiko-san. Right? Yeah. I agree. I promise to. Alright. So from tomorrow on, we'll try and come here as much as we can after school. And that includes days off. Hey, would you mind being our leader? You were the first to get this power, and you're way better in a fight than either of us. I think it's best for all of us if you set the pace of the investigation and we follow your lead. I'm cool playing second banana. I had a feeling you'd say that. I mean, I'm more the advisor type, you know? An ideas man, not an executive. I'm with Yosuke. If you're the one calling the shots, I'd feel a lot more comfortable about this. I'm with Yosuke too. If you're the one calling the shots, my pillow will be a lot more comfortable at night. Teddy, would you please stop talking? I'm really on edge right now. Okay, let's get some rest for today so we're ready for tomorrow on. And don't forget to check the weather forecast. It gets foggy after a lot of rain, so let's keep an eye out. Also, let's make sure we gear up for next time. That's all for World News Tonight. Coming up next, the local news. Hmm. Hey, mind if I ask something? You aren't getting involved with any strange business, are you? What happened at the station this afternoon? It's still bothering me. Is there anything you're not telling me? Is something bothering you? Believe me, I, I do feel bad that I've been too caught up with work for us to have time to talk. Well, what's wrong? Are you fighting? No, we're, we're not having a fight. This isn't the police station. I agreed to look after you. 
so don't get yourself involved in anything that could get you into trouble. Got that? And now, our weather forecast. Due to high pressure fronts from the west, that sunny spring-like weather will stay with us for a while longer. Is this lady the one who decides the weather? Because when she says it'll be sunny, it always is. Uh, she's not really deciding it. <laughs> Never mind. 